Hey fellas. Well, as I shoot this, it's uh, kind of early slash middle of Saturday afternoon. Um, I've tried uploading yesterday's update like three times. And... Or is it four now? I can't remember. It's YouTube is being an incredible... It's... Yeah, exactly. So, I want to shoot this, and hopefully I'll be able to get it up sometime before next week. Right, things are going, you know? Ah, hells. Oh, well. Oh, well. So, did some drafting last night, and got some new Phyraxia going on. Uh, first draft, I know I picked up two rares during the first draft. I know my keeper was a Mimic Vat. I picked up a Mirror Works and a chance for the draw side of the prize pool. I cannot remember for the life of me what my other rare was. Um, and by the looks of it, it was in my deck, too, and I can't think of what it was. I seriously can't. Um... It was either an artifact or red or white, and I can't remember what it was. Most likely an artifact. I'm just drawing a blank. I'm seriously drawing a blank. Oh, but what I did have it was a. It was an infect build, primarily artifact. Uh, colors red was probably the strong, most represented color with a uh, white second and I splashed black for uh, a very wounded off Flesh Eater him. Um, Bimic Vat only hit the board like once, but when it did, it was awesome. Uh, what else did I get here? Uh, a Burn the Impure, a Volt Charge, two Razor Swine, a Bloodshot Train, E. Oh! Now I remember what my other card was. It was a red card. It was a um, Spike Shot Elder. Yeah, that was fun. Um, we got here Shriek Raptor, a Forced Worship, an Arrest, a Lost Leonin. Grafted Exoskeleton. Let me tell you something, putting that on the Spike Shot Elder was awesome. It really was. It's like, yeah, I suit up the Spike Shot Elder. I pin you for three points if in fact. Are you dead? Yeah, cool. <laughs> Bladed Pinions, um <clears throat> the evasion ability on in fact creatures is nice. First strike is where it gets really dangerous. First strike plus effect is nasty, which is also why I tend to uh, draft the Razor Swine, or as I call them, the Ziggy Peaky, very highly. Um, Contagion Clasp, it can remove a weenie or after some time a big creature, and hey, you know what? It's proliferate, and so it's a good card for an infect deck. Uh, Phyraxian Juggernaut, very nice. Two di Digesters, they're okay. Um, Lost Lean is usually better. An Iker Claw Mirror, Shrine of Loyal Legions, a Gold Mirror. Um, actually, one thing I realized while I was putting the deck together, Shrine of Loyal Legions makes a nice combo with the uh, Forced Worship. It's like, yeah, I play Forced Wor you know, I play Forced Worship, and your turn I bounce it. My turn I play it again, I put an extra counter on the Shrine. Yay! Um, sideboard, I had a Phyraxia's Core, which I snapped up because I figured, hey, you know, I might pick up some Iker Wellsprings or something, which I didn't. Oh, well. Leaden Mirror, I actually was really, really split on whether to play him or the Gold Mirror or try to cut something and play both. And I went with the, uh, the Gold Mirror, and it, overall for the, uh, it ended up being the right choice. I ended up running, like, uh, four Swamps, um... And, uh, six planes. Eight mountains. I'm trying to remember. Don't clearly recall. It's alright, though. It's alright. Uh, Origin Spellbomb. Want to run it? Didn't. Mental Misstep. That got passed to me. I snapped it up. Um, 
I'm going to say something right. We had new guys at the draft last night. Um, people who had only been playing the game for a couple of weeks. They came in and they drafted. And I'll tell you something right. New guys always, always throw drafts off. Way off. Because that's what new guys do. Because they don't really know what they're doing. So they will throw everyone out of step. I mean everybody. Um, that mental misstep, that was my second pick into pack two because I don't think I have many mental missteps. That may even be the first one I own. I don't know. I don't know. But, um, yeah, um, I look over my shoulders, the guy's about to pass me the, the pack, and he's practically flashing his cards at everybody, and I'm like, dude, stop, stop. I can see what you're picking right now. Don't take that. The dude was taking the uh, the six four insect for uh, four colors and double red as his first pick, and I'm like, dude, no, no, don't, don't pass me that, don't pass me that pack. What we just took, put it back in the pack, find something else. That's bad. It's like, tr if you really want it that badly, trust me, it'll make its way back to you. And, um, he ended up taking the rare out of the pack. I have no idea what it was. But, um, he passed me a mental misstep, and uh, I was beast within the, uh, two and a red, uh, two and a green to destroy a permanent and replace it with a 3 3 token creature. Yeah. I, I took the mental misstep because I know I need them. The beast within is really a good card, and I may be, and there's a strong chance I should have taken that instead. But, poo happens, you know? happens. Uh, Vettelkin Infuser, I know I don't have many of those, and I was actually kind of happy I was able to pick him up during the draft. Uh, and still Infection, I want to put that in the deck, but I just couldn't find room for it, and you know, between the Burn the Impure and the Bloodshot Trainee and uh, the Volt Charge and the Arrest and the Forced Worship and the Contagion Class, I figured I sh and the Virulent Wound, I figured I had enough removal to uh, sneak by. Cost account, don't like it. Fraxian Hall, okay, was I just talking about this guy the other day in M10? Yeah. Kaldatha Ringleader, Rally of the Forces. I would have liked to have run the Rally of the Forces, but oh well. Scrapyard Salvo, uh, Furnace Scamp. Uh, pair of Vicious Destructions. Um, when I see those floating around late, I'll usually snap them up. Um. I frequently overlook the fact that it can nuke artifacts. I mostly focus on the fact that it can nuke lands, because I figure if I can uh, pick up some land enough land destruction in a draft, you can run it and make it worthwhile. Though, granted, Victorious Destruction is not what you'd call good for a land destruction card. It's... It's not. It's just not good. Um, uh, Paranathosaurs, Cold off the Rebirth, uh, I got hand to score elemental, uh, and somewhere in pack two I hate drafted the malarious keepers because at that point I already knew I was pretty going infect and uh, I'm like no that that can screw me up if someone gets their hands on it no <clears throat> and so that was that you know that was first draft I did okay uh, you know I didn't come in first or second or anything but I did all right you know. Second draft, I uh, did horribly. Uh, I, I mean, really bad. It's just the deck just decided it didn't want to work for me. I ended up going uh, red, black, and blue again. Uh, red, black, red, black, and uh, white again. I only splashed uh, red for two cards: an arc trail and a burn the impure. I was primarily black, some white. Um, <coughs> I picked up a uh, hard. Uh, engulfing Slagworm and a uh, foil silver skin armor out of the prize pool. Yeah, whoop de doo The silver skin armor looks nice, though. Um, the first card I picked uh, was a Pure Steel Paladin. I didn't get him back. I threw him in the prize pool. And first pack, second pick, I got handed Batterskull. 
And um, yeah, I agreed with the uh, the guy who handed me the batter skull. He he made pretty much the right choice because he decided to take the foil Elish Norn. Yeah, gee, mm, foil Elish Norn or batter skull, foil Elish Norn or batter skull. The foil the foil Elish Norn has a distinct advantage. But yeah, I had the pure steel paladin. Um, let me see, I don't think I had a lot of other rares in the deck. I think I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, so the Paladin makes 22. What else did I have in here? I'm trying to remember. I had at least one more rare in the deck, and I'm brain farting on what it was. Oh well. Um, my buddy Brass Squire, Heavy Arbalist, Barb Battle Gear, Copper Carapace, it's okay, a Snap Seal Glider, a Leaden Mirror. Um, A Blind Zealot, Morbid Plunder, Skin Rester, a Fraxian Rager, Gets Verdict, Virulent Wound, Instill Infection. Um, a Sunspear Shikari, an Ardent Recruit, Apostle's Blessing, Locks on Convert, Mutagenic Growth, as I mentioned, the Burn the Impure in the Arc Trail. Uh, I'm glad I splashed the red, because um, for the most part it didn't hurt me. And it, having access to a couple extra removal cards was nice. Um, I was really weak against flyers, that's why I went with the, uh, the snap cell glider as opposed to, say, something else. Um, you know, the three equipments, uh, the batter skull hit play, like, once and it got shattered. Um, Heavy Arbalist actually ended up winning a game. Uh, Bar Battle Gear is just pretty nice. Copper Carapace is nice. Um... What was really nice is with the uh, Pure Steel Palette... Oh, now I remember what my other rare was. Uh, White Sun Zenith. Yeah! Um, unfortunately, the only time it really came up... There were two games where I had it in hand and I didn't need it. Or I didn't have a chance to cast it. And there were uh, there's one game where I cast it, like, twice. And I still lost. Yeah! That was rough. That was rough. Cause yeah, the deck is really weak against the deck was really weak against flyers, and that was one of my one of the primary things that did me in. It happens. Um, I've got a little bit more respect now for the locks on convert than I used to. Um, I kind of thought of him as kind of assy because he's a four two for four mana. I mean, granted, in white that's a, that's a power that's above curve. It's close to what you'd expect in red, you know, at that casting cost, at that rarity, common. And um, I've come to the conclu I've got more respect for him now because you know what? Being four on the front, he can be nasty. He can be nasty. But um, yeah, um, one of the games that I won was really nice was um, using the. Uh, Pure Steel Paladin to swap Heavy Arbalist between all my creatures because he reduces equip cost to zero. So it's like, yeah, I'm gonna swap that to him, ping your guy, swap that to him, ping your guy. Is your guy still alive? Swap that to him, ping your guy. Your dude's dead. I'll swing with this guy. I mean, it was it, it was pretty awesome at that point. I mean, it really was. It, it was very impressive. It worked nicely. But, um... The deck itself, overall... I mean, when it performed well, it was fantastic. When it did badly, it... It, it was fantastic with that. You know... I mean, either you drew really well, or you drew... Ass. Uh, looking at the sideboard here. All the stuff I picked up in draft. A, uh, Vettelkin Anatomist. He's really good. I couldn't pass him when he came around. I really couldn't. 
he's he, he's mean. Uh, Mirror and Spy, meh, whatever. He's a filler card at best. Uh, the Chrome Steed is actually what I was thinking about putting into the deck instead of the Snap Sail Glider, but um, I figured the deck was weak against Flyers, so I needed to throw one in. And you know what? The only time I got the Snap Sail Glider on the board two, maybe three times total the whole night, and he never had fly. Mind you, of course, the Chrome Steed in those same instances wouldn't have been any better. Uh, Necrogen Sensor, meh. Parasitic Implant, you know, it's it's ghetto removal, but mm, I ended up not running it. I mean, I, I got an Instill Inspection, Virulent Wound, a Gets Verdict, a Skin Render, a Blind Zealot. Oh, that's another nice thing. Uh, my opponent's got, at one point, he's got two artifact creatures on the board. Uh, one of them was the 4-4 uh, the four, four Flying Gargoyle, the other was the uh, Blinding Soul Eater. So I'm sitting there, okay, how do I want to do this? I declare my attack step, he says he's not going to tap anything. The only way he could tap something down with the Soul Eater at that point was to uh, pay, the Phyra pay the life for the Phyraxian White because his Malans were tapped out. So I'm like, okay, I declare the Blind Zealot as attacker. During the declare attacker step, my Apostle's Blessing, the Blind Zealot. It's got protection from artifacts. It deals two to you, and that then I sacrifice it to kill off your uh, gargoyle. It was awesome. Um, because I didn't want him touching me. Because he had two uh, mind cranks on the board. The artifact that says uh, whenever an opponent loses life, they uh, remove, they uh, take top cards from the top of their deck, put them to their graveyard um, in quantity equal to the life they lost. Yeah, and when you got, he had two of them on the board, and it's just like, <laughs> just no, you know. Uh, fume spitters, there, filler cards, ghetto removal, whatever. Dross hopper is just plain bad. Flenser might would have been nice if I was running effect, but I wasn't. Toxic nim, yeah. I I don't think anyone likes him. I mean, he's, yeah, he's, he's six mana for a four power infect dude that regenerates, but in a, any kind of a mirror matchup, Flunza might just destroy him, you know? But whatever. Uh, lost Leonin. I wasn't running infect, so I didn't put him in. A Volshock replica. I could have played it if I wanted to. I didn't. Tangle Hulk. Um, I wasn't playing green. I could have. I did have some halfway decent green here. I mean, I had the Tangle Hulk, that mutagenic growth up there. Light Widow in my sideboard, Tangle Mantis, a Deathhead Cobra, a Leeching Bite. I mean, I could have gone green instead, but um, with the colors I had, I just um, I thought my best shot was what I had. Maybe, maybe I was wrong on that, or maybe I just didn't draft a strong enough card pool to build my deck from. I don't know. But um, like I said, when the deck worked, it was fantastic, and when it didn't work, it was fantastically bad. So, um... That's that. So, um... Let's be a note to you guys. That's a, that's a build that doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well... Uncheck progress on yesterday's video and... See how that's rolling along and... I don't exactly have high expectations at this point. I'm forced to wonder at this point. Maybe it's an if it it's an issue with uh, my browser it may, may not be working right. I don't know if it fails to upload this time. I'm just gonna reboot the computer and try it one more time and cross the fingers and all that happy rot. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Have a good one, fellas. Uh, whenever you end up watching this, I don't know. Be good. Be safe. Yada yada so forth and whatnot. Later, guys.